Hello, how's it going? This is my Tao Heads Up Hopper. It's my first ever RC car. Well, not, not this exact one, but one of these was my first ever RC cars. And as a bit of a nostalgia trip, um, I bought this one off of eBay relatively recently. I've done a whole video on it already when I unbox it all. You can check that out if you like, I'll leave a link below. But yeah, I just thought, I had a little trip down memory lane, get myself one of these. I have been looking for one for a long while. And then once it arrived, I had no idea what I was going to do with it. Anyway, I haven't tried it yet. It's, I don't even know if it works. I didn't have a battery that worked, the battery came with it was knackered. I picked up this one from eBay. It came with this little USB charger, 2400 milliamps, uh, 8 cell nickel metal hydride, 9.6 volts. However, I made a bit of an oopsie. My plan was today, get up, put this on charge, on my big charger. My big charger will charge this in no time whatsoever. I mean, I can charge it 2.4 amps and charge it in an hour, but charge it at whatever speed really. Um, and then that'll be fine. However, and I should have thought about this, I really, really should have. Um, I don't do Tamiya plugs. And uh, I thought I still had the Tamiya cable for my charger, but I don't. So, yeah, I, I sort of got caught unawares today. Uh, so I had to use this. Problem is, this charges it, it says output here 250 milliamps, and I'm assuming that means per hour. So 250 milliamps, 2400. It would take almost 10 hours for this to charge that. I haven't had 10 hours, I've had a couple hours. Maybe just under that, I don't know. Hopefully I had enough charge from the factory as well to get a reasonable shot. Just, we are just seeing if it works today, really. But enough for it to get the full chat rather than just be like, oh, it's almost dead. So fingers crossed it works. You might think myself a 9.6 volt battery for this. It does turn on, thankfully. I did talk about how it's got a turbo power button and I assumed it was just a light because I can't remember. I was very, very young when I owned one of these. So um, probably five, six, something like that. Um, yeah, about that. But you can see here, once it gets to full throttle, a light comes on and it's turbo power. But um, I expect it just to be nothing but a light. But actually, there is a step here. There's a bit of, there's like the original spring tension, and then you get to a sort of stop, a soft stop, and then there's a more spring tension. There is almost a step. Um, I think it's still the same linear progressive power. So I think it's completely redundant. It's just to give the kids to feel like there's a, a sort of boost that you can go beyond. But I don't think it's, there's nothing, you know, extra. I think that's all it is. Anyway, what I do remember is this had a fast and slow gearbox, F and S. It's more accurate to say it's a sort of high and low range because um, it was much lower geared if you put it to S, lower top speed, but it accelerated better. And it's lower gearing and on F, high top speed with acceleration was pants. And I didn't notice at the time because I was too young, but it probably killed the uh, the battery um, battery length of time. You know what I'm trying to say? Killed the amount of play time you had with it because it'll be higher geared on the F setting. Anyway, let's see if it works. Because I have no idea if it will. Oh, I'm telling a plug get in there. Useless things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, right. Okay. Transmitter on. Car on. Get the air on the eye. Well, it's a bit shaky on the steering. Bit of a delay, but it works. See the guy's head turn. That's why it's called the heads up hopper. He turns with it, turns his head with it. It's less sticky now after a few shots, it's probably just a bit, even a bit used. Fine. Now, let's have a look here. Lots of travel before it, in, it engages, and then it starts at a high speed. But this is on the S, the low range. It might be more progressive on the F, the high range. So let's see what this turbo mode does. So if you keep an eye on that green LED, if I can keep my hand out of the way of it, can I? Like that? Yeah. Probably. Hold right. on. There's a step. There's definitely a step. Now, does the gearbox gearing switch still work? F. Fast. High gearing. That sounds different. It's 
heat, it's reaching high RPM. The motor's reaching high RPM with the S mode, with the lower gearing, as you'd expect. But it certainly seems like there's still plenty of life in the little thing. And it sounds like it's going okay. It sounds like it'll be close to being as fast as a sort of standard Tamiya, classic Tamiya, like a Hornet or whatever, the 540 motors in the 7.2 nickel metal hydrides or 7.2 NICADs possibly. So, without further ado, let's try it outside and see what it's like. Okay, here we go. Low range first. In other words, slow mode. That's definitely slow. Definitely does remind me of something like a, a Tamiya Grasshopper, doesn't it? Right, I don't think there's a lot of charge in this, but let's try fast mode. Top speed isn't too bad in that mode, it's probably 12, 15 miles an hour. Probably get a little bit more of it if the battery was fully charged. You'll see there's no differential, there's no damping, very little steering lock, very little suspension travel. But really, it's not really any worse than a standard grasshopper, is it? Something like that. It's not good. <laughs> slow again. Brakes are certainly better in slow mode, and it's not just because you're doing less of a top speed. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really have the engine braking to overcompensate to the tall gearing when it's in fast mode. I'll show you. This is slow mode. Fast mode.
Well, there you are. A little trip down memory lane for me, a little bit of nostalgia. I'll be honest, I thought the driving of it would be more evocative than it is. It doesn't bring anything back at all. Not the feeling of the transmitter with the turbo mode, not the way it steers, not the... Not really anything. More the way it looks than anything else. But maybe that's good enough. Maybe that is. Anyway, thank you for watching. Take care. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.